in this next step we're going to download a program that's free um, that we're going to need to put our files from our computer onto the website into our website hosting account and also some files from WordPress that we're going to need um, that are the actual files that make the website work and so um, we're going to do that in just a second but before we get to that I do want to point out something that could have thrown you off when you saw this special offer page right down here it says free WordPress install and this company does give you one free WordPress install and a lot of companies do something similar to that but usually they're not using the latest version of WordPress and WordPress is constantly updating their free um, product and so um, it's not going to cost you anything to download the latest version any more than it would cost you to do this WordPress install and the other thing about this is is like this company gives you one and you may want to have multiple WordPress blogs on your website and I'm going to show you how to do that but you're not going to be able to do that with this and you're going to have the latest version so um, I'm just going to just suggest doing it the way that we're talking about and you kind of avoid issues there also anytime you set up a new website hosting account it's going to take about 24 to 48 hours for the website to do what is called resolve and um, basically it just takes that long for you know across the web for everything to kind of work itself out to where it knows that this is a new website um, and that everything's going to work correctly and so I would personally wait at least 24 hours before putting anything on that you're going to want to install and you can go ahead and try to do it if you like and it could it could very well work out and be fine but you may be avoiding some problems if you go ahead and wait that that 24 hours and so in the meantime though there are some things that we can do like I said so we need to go to google.com or whatever your search engine is that you like and we're gonna search for a program called smart FTP and go ahead and click on that when you find that and now what this does is this takes the files that we're going to download in a second from your computer and uploads them to the website hosting account so um, go ahead and download this most of the time you'll probably be using 32-bit but you'll know you need to know you know what computer version you're going to need to use and so um, if you are a Mac user and I am a Mac user I use Cyberduck and um, there but there's all kinds of free programs that you could use you don't have to limit it to what I'm suggesting here just find a free FTP program now remember if you already know how to FTP things um, just move on to the next step and it's not a not a problem but for you who don't um, and that's probably most of you um, this is going to come in very helpful and so now we have our smart FTP program downloaded and I'm gonna kinda zero out of this and we're going to go ahead and install this and get that up and running and so um, while that's kind of working there we're going to go and open up another tab oh let's go ahead and get that working just do a typical install it's no big deal so open up another tab and we may get interrupted again but that's okay go to WordPress dot org and that's where you get the download files and this this site could change definitely they're going to continue to update and upgrade their WordPress version so just click on uh, their latest version of WordPress and go ahead and download that and while that's doing doing that we're going to open up another tab and go to themes wordpress.net and there are hundreds of themes and this is just the look of your site so you're gonna be able to upload these with the FTP program and um, with the click of a button you could upload you know a ton of these things and change the look of your site with the click of a button and your content is going to be the same so we're gonna go ahead and launch this smart FTP it's done loading and but you're gonna be able to go through and you can download any of these themes. Now I do want to give you a little warning on on some of even the paid ones that you go out. You know, most of these are free, but you can also go out and buy WordPress themes. And and we'll talk about this in a second. But you can buy WordPress themes, and some of them though are very specific to other versions of WordPress. And um, if you go back to the release archive, if you don't if you want a certain theme and it says for instance that it's only going to work with you know version uh, you know 2.11 let's say for instance you can go here and download that version um, personally I just rather use the most recent version and just find a theme that's going to work with it because um, 
you're going to have more more luck with that probably. So um, I'm going to just choose a theme to go ahead and get started, and it doesn't really it doesn't really tell me. Um, I don't think I can see here what what version that it's going to work with. So hopefully, anything that's on WordPress.net, the actual WordPress site, I'm hoping that it works with you know any version of WordPress because that would just make sense. So the ones that I've encountered have been not on the WordPress site. So go ahead and download that, and I have all my downloads set to download to my desktop, so it's going to be real easy to find. But if you if you haven't, that's okay too. So we're going to go ahead and launch the Smart FTP. And like I said, it says buy now, but uh, the trial version will expire in 29 days, but um, you can do something different after that point. So um, now that we have the FTP software that we're going to need, we've downloaded a theme. We're going to need that a little later. We've downloaded the um, actual WordPress files. Then we're going to be ready to move on to the next step, which is to create a database that's going to contain the information in your WordPress site and we'll do that in the website hosting administration panel.